for another Renee of Paris live stream. Um, today's video is going to be super exciting for me because it is in the kind of the spirit of the holidays and I love the holidays. It's such an amazing time to just get to relax a little bit and um, like just enjoy the the cold weather but being able to stay inside when it's cold at least for me I'm, I live somewhere where it's chilly it just snowed so much and I feel like normally where I am it doesn't really snow this early in the season so it's kind of exciting that we um, have snow for this time of year and I'm just kind of getting into the holiday spirit so I'm really excited for this stream today because it is going to be a holiday themed um, live over on the Renee of Parish channel today um, so again, my name is Abby. I am the alopecia ambassador for the channel because I have alopecia myself. I'm totally bald and I have been since about the age of two years old. So um, when I come on here and do these live streams and also uh, the videos over on the Renee of Paris YouTube channel, which by the way, if you're not subscribed to that, definitely go over to YouTube and search Renee of Paris and follow us on there for some amazing wig tips and tutorials, but when I make my videos on the channel, I tend to come at it from the perspective of somebody who wears wigs every single day. Um, growing up, I always wore the exact same wig and just kept the same style because I was really self-conscious about having alopecia, so I never changed up my style. Um, but now that I'm a little bit more confident with my alopecia, I have so much fun changing up my wigs, trying all sorts of different styles in it. So uh, you'll see me starting the stream with this style, which this is um, Tatum from the Amore Collection, which is one of my favorite go-to wigs of all time because it's just such an easy, simple style. I think this style would look good on anybody. But you'll also see some other uh, another wig in this stream as well that's completely, drastically different from this one. And I'm going to show you a few fun ways to repurpose some like gift bows and things like that that you might find around the holidays and use these as accessories in your wigs. So again, I'm starting with this wig. Uh, this is Tatum by Amore, and I think this color is dark chocolate. It's just a really nice neutral brunette color. It's such a beautiful style. Um, this wig I would literally just recommend to anybody as a simple go-to wig because I think it's just such a universal style. Looks good on everyone. And the fun with this wig that I'm going to have uh, to show you these styles is that this is one of like a shorter style, so I can show you some ways that you can kind of put accessories in shorter styles to dress them up um, if you can't really like put a ponytail in it as easily. Uh, and then I'm going to show you a longer style as well and more fun ways you can style longer hair. Because I love wearing short wigs and I love wearing long wigs. Uh, when you are wearing a longer wig, you do kind of have more opportunities to maybe put it in like pigtails or braids or things like that. Um, and when you have shorter hair, it is a little bit harder to do those things, but there's still so many possibilities for accessorizing. So hi everyone joining. Uh, I'm so excited to do this stream today. Okay, so I'm just going to jump into um, some of the accessories I'm going to be using and then I'm going to be trying a couple of these styles on my wigs. So I'm starting with this wig, which is a short brunette style, and then I'm going to end the stream with a longer blonde style just to show you two drastically different looks and how you can um, do different looks on them. So again, I'm going to be using just a lot of accessories in general that I have here to show you, but also specifically things that you might find around the holidays a lot. So ribbons, bows, all sorts of things that might end up in the trash after the holidays, but you can totally hang on to them and repurpose them, and I always do. So let me show you some of these. Uh, for example, like a bow like this, you can totally do all sorts of fun things with it, whether you want to put it on your clothes or in your hair, which I'll show you in just a moment. And of course, ribbon. Okay, so I use a ribbon for a lot of different things because I, um, I am also like a crafts person and a cosplayer and I like to make costumes. So I have ribbon for all sorts of things, for gift giving and for like making costumes, but the possibilities with just a simple ribbon like this for using as an accessory, um, really simple accessory for your hair or for your clothing is they're just endless. Uh, which is the one you're wearing right now. So this is Tatum from Amore, one of my all time favorite go-to wigs. This is one of my favorite wigs for just an easy style that I can just throw on and not think twice about. So Tatum by Amore uh, in the color dark chocolate. So it's one of the monofilament wig caps. Very, very realistic and natural looking wig. I just really like uh, wigs with bangs for really effortless styles because like the hairline is covered so you never have to like um, think twice about if it's gonna look natural because it's just such a simple, easy style. Okay, so let me jump into some of these styles. Again, I'm purposely starting with a shorter wig just to show you some ways you can still style and dress up shorter hair even if you can't really like put it in pigtails and, and like ponytails and stuff like that. 
For the record, this wig actually does look really cute in a ponytail, um, if you do like short ponytail styles. So let me just show you how that looks and show you how you can even just dress up a simple ponytail. So when I put a ponytail in my Tatum, it's a really simple style, of course. Um, and I purposely like to leave some of the front pieces of the hair forward because I think it just kind of keeps like some face framing layers in the front and I think that looks really cute. But that's obviously optional. I won a giveaway and that's the one I'm getting. That's so exciting. Congratulations on winning the giveaway. I highly recommend this wig to anyone. It's just such a fantastic, easy style to wear and I think it's so natural looking. So of course here's the wig in a ponytail. Simple style that you can do on any wig as long as it's long enough. But it is really cute. Okay, so now let's try something. Let me take one of these small bows I have. Hold on, sorry for the bag noise. I have to open the package. Okay, so something simple like this. Okay, so of course there's like hair accessories that you can use like that already have a clip on them. Um, like if you just have like a little bow you want to put on top of your ponytail, that always looks really cute. But if you don't have like a clip already, you could just use something simple like this that you probably are going to get on your gift bags this year. Um, I found these really tiny ones at the store and I thought these were just super cute. And just use some simple bobby pins. I also just found these like tiny bobby pins that I've never seen before that I thought would come really in handy for something like this because it is such a small bow. So this might be difficult. Um, hopefully I can get it on the first try, but I kind of like put the bobby pin in the loop of the bow so that it's secure to the bow. And then you can just go ahead and take the bobby pin and then just kind of pin it on the back of your ponytail just to kind of dress up the ponytail a little bit to make it a little bit more festive. Like something like that. Can you guys see it really well? Super simple, but it's just such a cute way to dress up the look. And it's also so doable and easy for anyone to do. And anybody can find like bows like this around the holidays. Now, if you wanted to, you could take more of these little bows. Let's see here. What other colors do I have? Um, let's take just another gold one. And I don't know if I would wear these together at the same time, but you can even like kind of pin it to the side of your hair as well. It's really cute. So again, just take the bobby pin, just stick it in the side of the bow so it's nice and secure to the bow, like that. And then just go ahead and you can put that just on the side of your hair. Okay, bear with me here, let's see. Okay, so just put it on the bow. And then let's just pin it right here, just kind of as a simple look. Sorry, I'm like kind of ripping the bow at the same time. There we go. Obviously, if you're going to be wearing this for the whole evening for the holidays, uh, you could take a little bit more time to do that. I just want to give you a general idea of just being able to use a bobby pin, pin something in your hair like that. Really simple and cute. And it's just such a great way to repurpose some of these bows that might end up in the trash otherwise. So I have a mirror over here. I'm just looking in. Okay. So let's take these out and just show you another cute way you can kind of dress up a shorter style. So let me just brush this out a little bit more again since I had it pulled back. I'm using my, uh, my favorite wig brush at the moment, which is this Renee of Paris brush here. Um, Renee of Paris brand. The really awesome thing about this brush is that it folds like this, so you can really easily just put it in your purse or whatever, and it's just such an easy thing to have with you. So just kind of comb this out. Okay, so again, of course, something else you can do to kind of dress up and make a wig a little bit more festive for the holidays is just use any accessories. So for those of you that are familiar with big wigs, you probably know this, but anyone who's new to wigs, you might wonder like, are there certain specific accessories that you have to wear with wigs? Maybe like uh, if you can't wear regular accessories and um, actually you can just use any accessories uh, that you would use on your normal hair as long as it's just like a regular headband, a regular hair clip or whatever. Those are safe to put on your wigs. So here's like a really cute bow I have here that I like to wear and I just want to get a little bit more dressed up. And that's so simple. You just put it on your head and it's just like makes the whole look just automatic automatically a little bit more festive. Here's another example. I wouldn't necessarily wear this uh, black headband with the dark hair because it would probably just disappear into it. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to get a little bit crafty, you could take a simple headband like this and maybe glue 
some of these bows on there and just maybe cover the whole headband. Maybe use like a hot glue gun or something like that or just some sort of craft glue and just cover the whole headband with different bows. And you can kind of make a DIY headband. That's something really fun and again, a really great way to repurpose some of these bows. And now let's look at this ribbon. So it's kind of getting unraveled here, um, but every year for the holidays when my family would open gifts, it's so funny that it was always like a thing in my family that whenever someone had a bow on their gift, it was like, okay, take off the bow and give it to Abby. Um, that was always a thing in my family just because I always liked to do exactly what I'm showing you guys right now, just kind of wear it in different accessories um, or on the holiday, I would just kind of like stick them all over my uh, like clothes or I was wearing that day just with the little, if they still have the sticky backs on them just because it was fun. It made me feel more festive. Um, so another great way to dress up a shorter wig style as well is not necessarily putting things in the wig itself, but also just to accessorize this area because even though it's not necessarily a hair accessory, it's still up in that same general area. So for example, if you had festive earrings you could wear, but if you're gonna take a bow like this, something really cute you can do that's really simple as well is just wearing it as a necklace. So let me cut this bow. I'm gonna make it a little longer so we can actually put like a ribbon in the front. That would look cute. So you, either you can just like tie it in the back so it's not visible. I used to always just wear necklaces like this that are so simple with little bows. Or if you want to, you can also put the bow in the front and just kind of make it more festive so it's like a little bow on the front. Let's see if I can get this even on the first try. So yeah, like that for example, uh, you can just put a little bow on the front is really cute to repurpose your ribbons. So yeah, just something like that. Okay, so now just to be able to show you more styles on a longer wig, let me switch to another wig that I have here um, that's a longer style so you can do a little bit more with the styling as far as putting it in like pigtails and ponytails and things like that. So this is the wig I'm going to switch to. This is Angela from the Alexander Couture Collection. I am obsessed with this wig lately. Um, and again, this is such a perfect example of how on a day-to-day -day basis I will switch from a drastically different hairstyle to another. So I'm going to be switching from like a short brunette style to a long blonde style. And it's always fun because, again, I used to be really self-conscious about my alopecia, so I hated switching up um, my wigs and having people ask me questions about it and stuff. It used to really, really scare me. Um, but now that I'm more confident with my alopecia, I kind of think it's really funny when I like meet someone new for the first time, they meet me in one wig, and then the next time they see me, I'm wearing a drastically different wig, and they're like, did you dye your hair? And then I'm like, oh, right, you don't know yet. Okay, <laughs> it's a wig. Like, Okay, so let me switch over. Okay, so I'm gonna be switching to this wig. Angela from the Alexander Couture Collection and Champagne R. I love, love this wig. And with longer wigs, they're really fun too because there's just so many styling possibilities. This one has a really nice side bang, or actually, it's actually, it has like a bang, but I kind of wear it brushed to the side a little bit because I really like that style. So it's kind of versatile in what you can do with it. So just to show you right off the bat, something that I've been wearing in this wig a lot recently is just wearing a simple headband. I think it just looks really cute and it kind of gives it that like, like academia style, like vibe style that it kind of has been really in style recently. So something like that looks really cute. And if I was wearing like a little dress, like a little plaid dress, this would look so cute with that. Just super simple. And let me show you the other headband I have here that I was just wearing in the other wig. In this one as well just so you can see that this automatically makes it look so dressy just adding a simple headband that you don't even have to like do anything with but now let's get into something you can do more with longer hair so just to keep it really simple I'm gonna go ahead and put this wig in pigtails and then I'm going to add some bows to the pigtails so again I'm just using a regular hair tie <clears throat> And after I do the pigtails, I'm also going to put this wig in braids to show you guys that because this wig looks so cute in two little braids. I love wearing braids. Okay, so simple pigtail like that. And again, when I do wear pigtails or ponytails, I like to keep some of the strands of hair out and forward to kind of keep those face framing layers without having all the hair in your face per se. So um, like that, 
something like that. I think that's so cute to just have like the little wisp in the front. Okay. Yeah, I love those little wisps. They're so cute. So I'm going to do the same on this side. Let's put a matching pigtail. <clears throat> So for those of you guys watching, um, do you tend to just wear the same wig around the holidays or do you like to have a specific wig that you wear that's kind of like special for the holidays or just any sort of occasion? I love having like an like an, a wig that I wear for occasions especially and I'm not really sure which wig that would be for me right now and I can't decide which wig I'm going to be wearing for like holiday festivities this year. I haven't decided yet. It might be this one though because I've been so into this wig lately. But I've also just been wearing it a lot regularly in general, so it's just really cute. Okay, so again, I'm taking that same ribbon that I tied around my neck before. That was a really cute accessory that's really simple. But if you just take a ribbon like this, you can also put your hair in the ponytail and then take the ribbon and tie it around the pigtail. Or if you're just doing one single ponytail, you can do it with that as well. I'm doing this in the mirror and it's kind of hard to, like, when your actions are like a reflection, it's hard to, like, See what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so it's gonna do a quick little bow. Hopefully, I did that tight enough. But that is so cute already. That just makes it look so adorable. I feel like an anime character. Recently started switching up wigs. Also have ones for special occasions. Yeah, see, that's awesome. And then it's so fun that you just have like special wigs for the special occasions because it just makes everything a little bit more exciting. Okay, so when you are doing pigtails like this, you want to try to make sure that the ribbon is relatively the same length so I should have taken that ribbon and like lined it up and made sure it was about the same length before cutting it. I can kind of estimate the same length I cut it uh, but the reason for that is just because that way you know once you tie the bow it'll all be kind of the same length and it'll be symmetrical so hopefully this is about the same length. I would recommend measuring it before. So it probably is a little bit more difficult to just use the ribbon and tie it around the hair without the hair tie you can do that. Um, I just prefer to do it a little bit more simply. Just put the hair tie on first and then cover it with the ribbon. But you could also technically just use the ribbon itself and use that as the hair tie. And also the beauty of wigs, um, that's also really fun, that, that just reminded me, is the fact that you can take it off your head and do it on a wig head. <laughs> Especially if you have one of like, the more heavy duty wig heads that are nice and balanced. <clears throat> um, then you can just leave it on the wig head and just style your wig on there, make sure it's nice and perfect, you can like check it out and, <clears throat> and then um, put it on your head afterwards and you know it's gonna look perfect. Yes, your girl needs a wig. <laughs> yeah, try them out, they're so fun if you haven't worn them before or if uh, you have worn them and you just wanna get a new one, they're so much fun, especially for special occasions. So this looks so cute. So if you can see how much different that looks, just adding the bows, just from having basic pigtails to adding the bows, that's so cute. And then just to make this look a little bit extra festive, I'm going to add a lip color as well, just to kind of dress up the makeup and just kind of complete the look. Just to kind of give you a whole complete look for the holidays. So that looks really nice. And then sometimes, this is like a trick that I learned from my mom. Sometimes I'll even take a little bit of my lipstick, dab it on my fingers and almost use it as a little bit of blush. And I've been so into blush lately. I just feel like it makes every look just so much more complete. I used to never wear blush and now it just feels like a look isn't complete without it. So just adding a little extra blush also just feels so appropriate for the holidays if you live somewhere wintry because I feel like um, it almost looks like a natural flush from the cold and it just looks so cute. <laughs> So it's adding a little bit of blush in your cheeks. It's just a cute little look. Okay, so moving on. I don't. I almost don't want to take this out because it just looks so cute. I love the way these look with the little ribbons. Like, this is probably going to be my holiday hair, honestly, this year. Okay, so let's just untie those. Nice and simple. <clears throat> okay. Hi everyone joining, by the way, uh, I'm just doing, uh, showing some really cute ways to accessorize your hair using some ribbons and bows that you might find around the holidays a lot. Okay, so another way that I have been loving wearing this wig <clears throat> is just a little half ponytail. So I love long wigs, this wig is awesome, but a lot of times uh, if I want to make the hair 
just look a little bit like just different, maybe like a different volume to it. I will just take the topmost layers of hair like this with my thumbs, pull it to the back of the head, make sure it's smooth on top as you're doing this. So just kind of smooth it out as you go, have it meet in the middle like this. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to just have my ear peek out. That's something, a really great tip, by the way, is people who aren't familiar with wigs. Um, people will sometimes ask me if you can put the hair behind your ear still, and the wig caps are shaped in a way that you can do that if it fits you properly. So, um, yes, just like that. <laughs> and that looks really natural. I remember when I was like a little kid, and I used to like, didn't really know much about wigs yet, and I had just lost my hair. Sometimes I would wear these wigs that were like way too big for my head and I would wear them over my ears. And then um, as I like learned more about wigs, I realized that like a proper wig cap, you should be able to put the hair behind the ears is a great tip. I think I missed a comment here. Um, I live in New York and I thought, I never thought I would like blush for the holidays, but I wear it all the time. Yeah, I think maybe part of it is the fact that blush is like kind of a popular thing with makeup right now. I feel like, um, I feel like a lot of makeup tutorials lately just have blush like all over the front of your face which I think is just such a cute look but yeah you kind of get that natural flush from the cold anyway right okay so this so this bow probably isn't long enough but if you wanted to I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna try a really long bow and try something out so I'm gonna take some of this ribbon and cut a really long piece of it and I'm going to tie it as a headband but purposely leave the ends long so they're kind of peeking out behind the hair so let's see this might be a little difficult because I haven't tried this in a while but you can totally just use like a ribbon as a headband so let's go ahead and kind of put it on, on the top of your head I'm gonna put it like behind my ears like that and then I'm gonna put it behind the rest of the hair Okay. And then I'm just going to tie it back behind my head. So if you just do something like that, you could either like um, put it in a bow and pull the ribbon to one side. Almost like wearing like a long scarf headband, you could like pull the ribbon to the side, looks kind of cute, and then it just kind of meshes in with your hair. Um, especially if the ribbon was a little bit shorter, like if the ribbon was the same length as your hair, that would look really cute. And you can kind of just like mix it in with the hair um, or hanging down long is really cute. This would be a tad too long, but I think a little bit shorter, it would just look cute if it was just kind of peeking out the front a little bit. So yeah, you can also just use your ribbons as hair accessories. I totally do that all the time. I always keep my ribbons that I get as gifts for the holidays for that exact reason. Now, so yeah, this half ponytail that I was talking about before, so you can do a half ponytail on the back of your head. By the way, great tip, you wanna check if the ponytail is neat, just take the wig off and check it out. Uh, you can just make sure the wig cap is still covered, make sure the ponytail um, is still like letting enough hair out that covers the wig cap, and just make sure it's nice and neat, so like that. And then just pop it right back on your head. So here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna put another one of those bows in the back of the wig. Um, but I'm going to do it when it's off my head so that I can see it's like perfectly neat and covered. And then just pop it right back on and you don't have to question whether it's in the right position. Um, you don't have to like kind of like do that thing uh, where you're kind of like looking in the mirror and trying to see the back of your head in the mirror. Not the easiest thing to do. So this way you can literally just look at it yourself and then put it back on your head. So that's an awesome tip. So again, just take, oh, I'm using one of the bigger bobby pins. So let me use one of the small bobby pins for the small bows. I'm just gonna, again, just loop it in there. Just like that, just nice and simple. You can use bobby pins to turn anything into an accessory. And if you wanna make it more of a permanent accessory, just kinda glue it on there, on, onto the accessory. That way you could just make your own clips. And then I'm just going to pin it right on the back of the ponytail so much easier than trying to like struggle at the back of your head and not being able to reach it or whatever that way it's like purpose perfectly neat in position so a lot of times if i wear a hairstyle like this with a half ponytail i love to put some sort of cute little accessory on it whether it's a little bow clip that i can just quickly clip in the back or for the holidays it's fun to kind of make your own accessories with the bows you get in gift bags and stuff like that and then just pop the wig right back on and it looks so cute and simple 
and it just turns a really simple and easy style that anybody can do themselves at home and just makes it just like a tiny bit even cuter because I, I just love cute things and cute style especially for the holidays I, I love getting dressed up even if I'm not doing anything so just like that and you can pick any bow that matches your outfit uh, just whatever bow you get with your gift bags it's just really cute Okay, so let's just do something really crazy for this last one, just for fun, just for if you want to just like play around. Let's take one of these big bows and <laughs> just clip it to your hair like that. This might be fun for almost like a cosplay or something. So one thing that just came to mind too is again, I showed you before, you can just take a plain headband and if you wanted to, you could like glue it on here. So actually this still has the backing. It has the little back of the sticker that you would use to um, put it on a gift bag. So let's actually try something fun. Let's take this sticker off and just stick it right to the headband. Let's see if I can get it off. I just trimmed my nail, so it's hard to actually like peel stickers right now. Ah! Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna peel the sticker right off. This is actually fun too, because it's a way you can transform your headbands without it being permanent. So obviously if you used hot glue, it would be on here forever, or I guess you could like rip it off. <laughs> but um, you can just go ahead and stick that to the headband and it won't be like permanently affixed to the headband, but it'll stay on decently well. And then you could just put it on your head. That is actually so cute. I just thought of that right now. That would be cute for a holiday photo shoot. This honestly would be super cute. I should, I'm definitely gonna use this for a photo shoot. Um, and then maybe if you like turn it, I think more to the side is cuter. Because what I was about to do, uh, what I was planning on doing was just taking this bow and just using a bunch of bobby pins and using that to kind of fix it into the hair. And I think that would actually look super cute as well. But then I saw my headband there and I was like, wait a second, you could just like repurpose other accessories you already have and just put the bows on your head. So like I said before, it's so funny and cute um, that growing up in my family after we like opened presents, Whenever someone was opening a bag, it was always like, oh, it has a bow, take off the bow and give it to Abby. Like I would always have a little like collection of the bows from for the year. Um, and it was just always so cute. And then I would just use them for, like I would just put them on my clothes or put them in my hair. Um, and a lot of times we ended up just saving them to use for future years. It is great to repurpose as much as you can so there's less waste. So of course you could save all the bows you get for the holidays and use them for like future gifts, or you can use them as accessories, which is so much fun. Let me just look at my notes and make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys a bunch of really cute, simple styles that anyone can do that I'm probably gonna do this holiday season. Um, this is so cute. I actually love what I just did here. <laughs> so definitely like uh, comment any of these styles that you think you would try out. And if you're going to post any pictures in these styles, definitely tag us on Instagram as well. Um, definitely follow me on Instagram as well if you want to ask me any questions. My DMs are always open for anyone that wants to talk about alopecia or if you just have questions about wigs. And then my personal YouTube channel as well. And then also definitely go to YouTube. Just look up Renee of Paris YouTube channel because there's so many awesome um, just tips and tutorials on there. And I post uh, for, I make bi-weekly bi -weekly videos for the YouTube channel as well just talking about different tips uh, for wigs for alopecia. So definitely go check all of that out. Uh, we love to provide as much information and resources as we can as possible. You can always DM us with any questions or video requests and we would love to try to fulfill those requests as well. So I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and a wonderful new year. Um, I'm super excited for the holiday season and just getting a little bit of time to relax. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this and happy holidays to all of you um, from all of us at Renee of Paris and from me. So um, it was great talking to you guys. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you soon.